This is the word to go, yo. Go, yo. Okay, get it, Pixie. Oh, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wiggle, 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 worm. Oh, oh, tick tock, ticky, ticky, ticky tock. Tick, tick, ticky tock, ticky, ticky, ticky tock. <laughs> Hi, lady. Welcome Hi. to God TV. Welcome to God TV. That's Cheers a hashtag. That. Sure. That is a hashtag. You guys, if you guys are watching right now, don't forget to click that likey, likey button. Very important because mm-hmm. this is a very important, very important episode. Yes. And don't forget to subscribe oh, right. right there. Right there. That's a, just just a little little tappy, little oh, tappy. For you. That's right. it. And the most important, which is my favorite, right? Oh. Click that bell icon. Like- hey, Mickey, you always say to go upside down. This doesn't go upside down. Oh, we got oh, your cowbell is different. Oh, cowbell is different. Oh, freaking Cow- Amazon! You broke your bell. They donate Amazon. today to the to the Lisa Bell Fund. Yes, you know. <laughs> That Please. Amazon wish list, though. Me. Well, speaking uh, of wish list, down there. <laughs> the down there? Speaking of wish list, we know that you're wishing to see more of these faces. I, oh, ooh. all that, all that. And guess what? You can get all of our exclusive wish content list. by Talk becoming with. a member today of patreon.com slash God TV. And what we love to do is not only chat with you guys live, give you exclusive photos, video updates, and all sorts of fun content on Patreon. And of course, you get early access to these episodes, many of which have an extended version on Patreon. So that's the word, that's where to go. But if you want to be truly gorgeous, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hashtag gorgeous, and you want to be one of our top tier gorgeous members. We're going to reward you this month with this exclusive limited Love edition. It. Uh, sex hubba, sex hubba. By 10. Who are those hotties? Right? Those are some yes. babes. Yes. Only you know, when I first saw that picture. picture, yes, we were doing it. We were having autographing that picture for our exclusive God TV photo op and autograph session at WrestleCon, which was so fun. So ladies. Fun. It was we had so such fun. Oh, it can't was so get fun. Over that it. that photo shoot was actually hilarious because we were we were having a blast, Mickey. Right? Just 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 disregard the yellow uh, in the water behind me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was at Miami when we were with our friend, our friend Michael, who put us up, and we were at the at the thesis in Miami. And oh, what a great hotel, Alan! We paid him with many shots of tequila we did. Uh, to be our photographer for that glorious evening. That was also the day I backflipped into the pool out of laughter. You sure I did. Backwards. Yes. And shout out to Michael, yeah. by the way. That was an amazing trip. As was uh, Dallas, and you know Dallas also uh, the historic site of WrestleMania. Ladies, I can't, can't believe it. I've already had the late, some of the ladies reached out to me and asking about next year's WrestleMania already. Like they loved and they were honored to be a part of it. And, you know, they want to continue. I think too, because we all came together for Tag Me and United and raised more awareness and kind of surrounded it with such a positive message for everyone in wrestling and outside of wrestling and connected to wrestling. But um, it, it was so much fun. And I couldn't have had more fun at the uh, Gall, Ho- Gall B&B, if you will, oh with you God. ladies. It was so fun. What there were rooms. Yep. Poor Alan and poor book. Nick. Poor Alan and poor Nick. Yeah. Oh, no, poor nothing. They were fine. They had a blast. Poor yeah. Val. Almost You're, welcome. You're welcome. You're oh, welcome. Yeah. I know. You almost lost what? a toe, sis. Are you okay? Yeah, I was, I was, uh, oh my gosh. It was toe up. I'll tell you that much. We, uh, I was, this is how cluttered I am. I just had some boots laying on the floor, very like sharp heeled boots. Got up, it was dark and I was trying to walk back to the bed and hit one of these uh, the boots, like the heel. And you know, like when you stub your toe, you go like, whoa, and you kind of turn numb because it hurts so bad. But I was like, I'm probably okay, but it's still numb. Got back into bed, and then I was like, "Oh my god!" It was like the scene from The Godfather. Ah, uh, ah, uh, and the blood in the oh. bed. Yeah. yeah. So, but the important so thing is, did you sell those boots? Blood included. Perfect. You can make your own in your lab. You can make your own. Uh, clone me and, and clone the DNA. Make your very oh own cell out. Good luck with that. I'm a lot. <laughs> Careful what you wish for. Careful what you wish for. Oh my gosh. No, it was incredible. And I I still 
I still love thinking about it. I'm so, I'm so happy with how it all turned out. And we met the nicest yeah. people. And, and yeah. honestly, big shout out to everyone who helped, not only the participants, you know who you are, you fabulous ladies and gentlemen. First time we had uh, some gams in there as well, Nick Aldis, Eugene, Nick Finsmore. Um, but yeah, the shout out to everyone that helped uh, in, in various ways, you know, Aaron and Alan and uh, Michael from High Spots, Chelsea, no days off Chelsea from High Spots was an absolute star. Everyone was just there and willing to to help and to donate. Chavo starting off the donations. Uh, Stifler, Leonard, everyone. Leonard. Yeah. Good old Leonard. Leonard. Did Leonard. I tell you I printed out because Leonard uh, was actually the one who bought my dress. So do you remember? Because we had many cups of champagne at this point uh, where I made Leonard stand with me and take the prom picture. Yes, I sure did. Yeah. He it to me. I printed it out and put a border on it. And in the border, I wrote Dresselmania 2. You know, oh. so it's our prom, it's our prom picture from Dresselmania 2 together. That's and it. sent it to him as part. Yeah. Memory. Oh my God. Yeah. yeah. Well, anyway, so I that was amazing. We obviously are already planning for Dresselmania 3. It's going to be in LA. Yeah. That's going to be, we got to get planning to the, that one early, ladies, yeah. early to the party yeah. because LA we got to be Hollywood. Here. Yeah. I mean, it is, I mean, besides New York, it would be the place of fashion, yes. you know, Val. Thousand percent. SoCal back in SoCal. I've not been back in like 10 years, maybe, at least not for like an actual trip. Yeah. So I can't wait. And in Dresselmania goes Hollywood. What's better than Dresselmania? Going Hollywood, making it bigger and better than ever. And this year was amazing. But you know, we're going to keep climbing that ladder every year. It's going to get more and more fabulous. And we're going to have uh, a really great think about who we can be donating to uh, that year. Because, you know, we far surpassed our goal of the first year, thanks to everybody who donated. Um, and also on Mickey's Instagram, you can still donate to NAMI and tag me in United. Big thanks to Gail Cam and Christy Hemi Scott to more. Gosh, Impact Wrestling is great about that. But this upcoming WrestleMania 3, WrestleMania 12, if you will, that's for Anthony. Uh, we need to figure out a great charity. So if you guys want to comment below or even say it in the live chat who you think would be a great, worthy cause, we'd love to hear them and, and discuss. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. And uh, make sure it's a, a charity that, you know, like most of the percentage goes to charity. You know, not the right, right? We were having a hard time with that last time. You get, when you start researching charities, you see the good, the bad, and the ugly. And even if people's uh, hearts are in the right place, we have to do our research and make sure that everything's going to the cause and that it's a, you know, it's a reputable charity for sure. And by the way, I just mentioned the live chat. If you guys are there, hi, thanks for joining us. Hello. If you're watching Hello. on replay, I, I feel like we should mention this more because a lot of people do watch on replay because they're working or they're busy with that horrible thing we like to call real life. It always gets in the way. If you're watching on replay, try your best to sometime come here on a Wednesday, 5 p.m. If you can make it, we're there in the live chat chatting with you every week. It's a lot of fun. For sure. And if you're not also, if you're watching on replay or even if you are here in the live chat, make sure you go over to the comment section outside the live chat and drop those thoughts because those really help us because that's where we can really see them because otherwise we have to scroll through the live chat to see them again. So we can see all those comments there and hopefully get back to you. And also, um, if you're more of an audio person and you want to listen to us because obviously you get the uh, full exclusive extended version on Patreon for free yep. the day before, but about two to three days later, usually you will get the full extended version on like the Friday yes. of our yes. podcast called the Gawcast. Did you like how I said Friday? Friday. <laughs> Did you see my face? Yes, yes. <laughs> Big shout out to uh, Ella from A Wrestling Gal for helping yes. us convert it to podcast form. And her Big shout out. Mania. Yeah, as well. And uh, Ella, I hope you know that when I select my headbands, I always think of you and I wear them just for you. So we love you, Ella. Thank you for that. Gosh, so many people were so nice. Lee Meltzer, we, and, and a lot of people actually came to the event who were, who were able to. And by the way, Dia Shin, if you're watching on replay or if you're in the chat, we'd love you. And it's such a shame you can make it, but we will see you in Hollywood for that red carpet uh, collaboration. So that'll be exciting. Oh my gosh, yes, I can't wait. Yeah. He was talking about doing the interviews on the red carpet. We're going to need a Dresselmania carpet. If yeah, anyone yeah. knows how to make a carpet and put little dresses on it. Or pink, um, maybe a pink carpet. Oh, a pink one. <gasps> Come on. That excites me in a weird way. Like, Get over yourself. Get Stop. Over yourself. Little dresses and lips all over it. You exactly. Know? Hey, maybe, um, you know, Danny, you know, Danny, uh, you know, Danny yes, big shout out to Danielle um, for making our logo and stuff like that. So maybe yeah. she can design our carpet. And yeah. Danny helps so much with our I got a carpet you can design. I, I was waiting. I was waiting. 
I was pretty sure she was going to go that route as well. Yeah. Well, if you think we're hilariously unfiltered, wait till our guest comes. She is one of our besties from way back in the day. And we're just so excited to actually have her on the show. So ladies and gentlemen, she's in the waiting room. Our beautiful, fabulous friend, an original. Impact OG. Wrestling, TNA OG. Yes. Original knockout. Our good friend, Tracy Brooks. Yay. Get it, girl. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Cheers! Oh my God, you guys! Hello, I'm so Tom. excited! My God, I love you guys so much. I want to cry. I love all you too. Welcome, Hi. welcome! Look at all those belts. Do those help keep yeah. your pants up, or what? Yeah, none of them are mine, by the way. Frankie put this room together when we started doing the commentary, and you notice it's all his belts. They, I oh, see that. On. Yeah. Hey guys, you know yeah, what? You know, I actually, I'm going to interrupt. I got to go. I thought Virgil and or oh, the janitor of Impact was going to be on here. And I made it before Virgil. Yeah. I was just not invited ever. I like how he's done the whole back wall of himself. And then he's put oh, no. you just right there in the corner. Yeah. And then there's another big painting. Oh, yes. okay. Yes. Okay. Nobody yeah, puts okay. baby in okay. the corner. No, no one puts baby in the corner. Can I tell you guys how, how much I love this show? I'm not just saying that. I love you all individually. But honestly, the show makes me laugh. And it, I think it's so good for today's female performers to know oh, yeah. that we all had body issues and self-confident issues. And I swear to God, I'm a huge mark for this show. And the fact that I made it on, I said, oh my God, thank you. Yes, yes. Honestly, the reason why we started this show in the first place, and we're so honored to finally have you on. This is so exciting, but that makes us so happy because you never know, like they might think we're silly because uh, our yeah. friends or our friends who know us, they go like, yeah, they're this, they're, they're, they're this nuts all the time. But yeah, no, uh, but I love it. I love the fact that you guys make me laugh. You make me cry, but I was that girl that watched you guys and are like, how are they that confident? Cause I was faking it the whole time. So the fact that you guys come out and say that, I think it's so good for this generation to hear. Cause we never, maybe I should stop drinking. I have the hiccups. Um, we, you're, in the right never, place. you're in the right place. Uh, we, I never heard that growing up in the business. So it was like, right. fake it till you make it. So the fact that you guys have talked about that, I think it is so, such a great thing. And I love you all individually. I love you as a group. And I'm just so happy I made it before Virgil. Well, thank yeah! God. Thank God. Well, Lisa, yeah. we, have, we have to explain that we, we had asked Tracy, like in the beginning, we asked a bunch of people, but you know, it's hard sight unseen. First of all, everyone's busy and, and we did it during, you know, the pandemic and everything like that. Still are, hello. Miss Rona, if you're nasty, uh, but you know, everyone was kind of like busy or whatever. So the fact that now we have friends actually excited to be on the show or they actually know the show before we even talk, but that's really exciting. And that means a lot coming from yeah. us, from you, Tracy, because you're somebody who we love and respect. So if it, if it means something to you, then we're doing our job right. So thank oh, you. Oh, it does. Yeah. Frankie, and Frankie wants to be on the show. He is yes. so excited uh -huh. to be on your show. He does. We oh, he is at work today. So, but uh, yeah, he was going to be my butler serving me drinks, but. Oh, that would have been amazing. Oh my no, God. That's hilarious. That. You know what, you know, like, but be serious now. We did reach out to you a long time ago, Tracy, about being part of our show. And it was at the beginning. And you know, when you get invited well, to do a podcast at the beginning, you're like, yeah, how many viewers do you have? Like, well, it's not know, that was kind of big time in us. No, well, big time. <laughs> big but time. The thing is, back then I was out of wrestling. Like no. I was sight unseen. I was you I fell out of wrestling like I didn't like going to shows I didn't I watched it I watched you Mickey going back to WWE I watched AJ and J Christian and obviously my husband but it was just those things you just I, I was gone I was out of it and I I was happy in my little hermit shell being a mom and so I I was done I honestly thought I was done done so never yeah. say never that's funny we always say that it's like the hotel California you can you can check out but you can never leave like I same thing we had this conversation many a many a time on zoom and boxer how like I thought when I moved to England I thought if wrestling stuff is over there and I do some cool get my foot in the door but I didn't think I would still be as involved with wrestling but it's so interesting to hear you say that because the fans just so a lot of times they don't understand the transitions with life. And sometimes you do kind of get a little jaded about watching wrestling or your, you know, your real life gets in the way. So that's interesting that, you know, you're, you're back in it. So how, how does it feel to be back in it and back around all the, the madness? The show Mickey, 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 our show. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> look, Lisa's so excited. No, I was going to say, you know why it is too. I was going to add to that. Um, is because it was painful, right? Like I remember when I first stopped, when I thought I was going, when I moved to Florida, I was like, 
I, I found it painful once you leave something or you detach yourself from something to sit there and continue to watch it because you still love it. It's like you're like yes. watching a lover being in love with someone else. It's, it's it was very painful, right? But yeah. what what Lisa is getting to, she can't. She, she's sitting on the edge of her seat for her. is obviously the grand opening, the grand welcome to our show with who you wearing, what you screenkin'. Yeah, and um, <laughs> and this and this little thing is also on um, what is it Sesame Street where they go, which one of these pictures is not like the other? Which one of these things doesn't belong? I know I'm I was bam. This. Let me just tell you this, viewers. You're the banana. I'm the banana, yeah. and I I've, I've been bamboozled. I got got because you I got got. In before got, got. Casey's here, I log in and I was like, oh my god, uh, Lisa, you look so nice in your denim. And then Mickey comes on, and I was like. You're also in denim. <laughs> Watch my language. Uh, excuse my language. You know, it's, it's a little, little casual for me. Excuse my language. Again, I don't usually use the C word, but it's a little casual. I swear, <laughs> why Val and I are friends, I have no idea. We are the exact opposite of each other. I, know. I have to tell you a story. When Val and I went to Iraq to visit the troops, which was an amazing experience, we're walking through the airport and Val is with her gorgeous long red hair, these long lean legs and this tiny, tiny, tiny short green dress, skin tight green dress, walking through the Kuwait airport in heels. I am in those, you remember those black velvet or velvet jumpsuits from Victoria's Secret? I was yeah. in one of those like done up to here. The Lord. In, yeah, in my uh, fake Uggs, just Val and I have never been so opposite. And that's fake Uggs. <laughs> Uh, you can go ahead and say it. They were fake hugs. They're fugs. Um, I, would say, uh, I, I have to, I've already made a note of it. I have to um, add some of our photos from Iraq. 2009, it was myself. This, we could have an entire show about this hilariousness. Myself, Tracy Brooks, <laughs> Brian Knobs, Greg Valentine, and Jimmy Hart. Who Jimmy Hart, I was just telling the story to Tracy. Someone over WrestleCon was talking about his hair. And I said, let me tell you about his hair. Jimmy Hart is famous for having this quaffed hair, right? And we were like, and right. back on it, we've had this conversation, Tracy, where it's like, how did we do that? It was actually, there were mortar attacks. It was quite dangerous, as you'd assume, war zone, yes. literally. Um, Jimmy Hart with his big quaffed hair, they would give us like, you know, vests and this and that and helmets. And he refused to put the helmet on his hair. So he would walk to the helicopter with it like this, like above his- You wore it like this. Yeah. I like that. Well, that's not protect. If you get a bullet to your, oh my God, bless his heart, but he didn't want to ruin the cloth. That's commitment to ruin his hair. That is committing. That Val is. and I didn't wash her hair for 10 days. Yeah. And it was 140 and it was just, we had birds in her hair at one point, like just in, insects and birds. And we woke up to one morning to the guys all talking about, oh, my hair dryer blew out because of the fuse. And what conditioner did you use this morning? Oh, how many times? To these were Brian Nobbs and Jimmy Hart and Greg the Hammer Valentine. And Val and I are literally, there's a bird's nest, there's baby birds flying out of like, her hair because we're so dirty. Yeah. Yeah. They were, they that were, divas. they were the real divas of that trip. Yes, uh, they were. Them all, though. Yeah. They yeah. were. So I have to, I'm going to say, um, I will just start by who I'm wearing and what I'm drinking. I am wearing my, one of my favorite uh, US brands here. I always go to the store in the Florida Mall. Classy Florida Mall. It's called Mad Rag, okay. and it comes with a little nighty. I'll take some photos in it. And I'm drinking, speaking of class, pure class, ladies and gentlemen, I'm drinking my Winking Owl Pinot yes. Grigio that's $2.95 at Aldi. It used to be called Two Buck Chuck. Now it's $2.95. But I, I, I spare Inflation. no expense for this. So Inflation. Inflation. I said it's $2.95? Oh, $2.95. And I'm, I'm, uh, I wanted to represent, Lisa gave me this adorable, oh, that's randomly adorable. decorated cup at WrestleCon. So thank you, Lisa. Yes. Did so, I give it to you or I just let you borrow it and you took it home? <laughs> it was it was a light borrow. <laughs> She'll be selling it on her store later. <laughs> I felt like there was three of them. I thought they were, but I was like, I never got my cup. I never exactly. drank out of my you cup didn't, I can't find mine either, Mickey. I can't find mine either. Yeah. 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 yeah the was a right there. Well, I'm drinking a little Bud Light Limey because, you know, I thought they would be funny. I, I actually don't drink beer, but this one, I've, I've gotten down this far, so I feel like I've committed. Oh, is it good? Yeah. Is it now? Is it tasting good? Uh, no, no, not that face. It tastes like beer with lime in it. Oh, and I'm wearing yeah. this romper here because, you I know. I love it. I love it. I love the denim. I'm in denim heaven. Yep. Denim. And I am tuxedo. Sorry. I am drinking. I'm vibing on uh, my Cabernet um, Chateau Saint Jean. 
Did I say How right? expensive is that? Oh, it, you know, I had to upgrade because I told you guys I had a headache the other day. Um, and I was like, I bought like $3.99 wine. And I was like, I think I need to up my game a little bit. Just maybe a dollar more. No, it was not that expensive. But I am like drinking on my 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 Star oh, Wars nice. little Darth Vader. It's coming up May 4th, you guys. Yeah. And I'm, I'm, I'm also... Um, Whoa. I, uh, okay. I of course, I okay. didn't pick it up because uh, I still have my clothes on underneath it because I got to go run errands after this. <laughs> but uh, and my my hat, you can get them. This is all available on my big cartel store. Lovely. But I did talk to Tracy before, so Tracy, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna hand it off to you because oh my god, I'm so excited and I'm nervous. <laughs> I'm no pressure, wearing, no pressure. God, I've always wanted to do this with you guys. I am wearing a Canadian tuxedo, the jean jacket, jean shirt, and jeans, but I'm not flexible enough to get up here. So, um, and I am drinking um, a little Tito's vodka with sugar-free Minute Maid uh, fruit punch. Ooh, fancy! Yeah. Well, and I don't want to be left out. I don't want to be left out of the party. So I'm going to go ahead and you putting um, denim on. My assistant has brought me my denim. Oh, please tell me you're putting denim on. Sure. Um, it might, my, my skin might break into a rash. Do you know how to say, you might be allergic. You might be allergic. I might be allergic. Uh, but, but Tracy was telling me, um, you know, since we all Vox all the time, she goes, I'm going to wear denim. And I go, oh my God, I'm going to wear denim too. Let me text Mickey and have that her wear it denim looks too. good on you. It actually it does. does. Hey, hey, you know what I'm hearing in my head? Blue jean, baby. LA lady. Oh, Oh, that I'm looks so happy to be you. It's, a, it's a bit Kelly Kapowski. I think I'm here for it. Hey, I love Kelly Kapowski. <laughs> Actually, I'm I'm masquerading as a Kelly, but I'm clearly a Lisa Turtle. Let's let's be honest. Oh. <laughs> I love it. Well, guys, cheers. I'm so happy. Serious. I told Val too. I'm so sad I didn't get to ring the bell with you guys. That is my favorite part oh. of the show. When y'all, I was looking for a Canadian bell. I thought maybe we could do it, but I couldn't find one. That's our uh, favorite thing. Hey, there you go. You know, Here you go. Here's your chance. Where's the bell? I, know. I don't have a bell. To find the proper bells. Like I got this bell. It's a little fat baby. <gasps> oh my God. But it's like that this rose like glass. Baby. That looked very naughty, Mickey. Yeah. Second. I was like, what is Well, that? I had to get him. Remember, I got him from the antique store. Yeah. The bells are not, they don't just sell no. these anymore they don't yeah. I don't really want it it's a loss I looked for a Canadian bell because I told Val even when you guys said I could do it I was like yeah. I really want to ring the bell and Val's like what the hell are you talking about and I'm like the bell. Bell. oh bell I like. yes. right. I told you I'm a bell. fan I'm a mark I, I, use the business I love that term. some people say they've watched it or like or a lot of times by the way when everyone comes on we send them like a welcome sheet blah, 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 right to kind of explain and it is so obvious not naming names everyone when they don't read the damn welcome sheet. We told them. I printed it out. Did you? <laughs> I printed both pages out. Ask Frankie. I don't know where it is now. But I have papers that is everywhere. so but. fabulous. Because we, always, we don't want to surprise people because they'll go, oh, I didn't know you were going to ask me who are you drink, who are you wearing? What are you drinking? We're like, it's literally the first line in the welcome sheet. First paragraph. Yes. <laughs> I know. No, Look who I does. printed it out. Works. It is probably the only thing that is consistent in the whole show. Yeah. It's probably the only thing that is consistent. Yeah. In, in every show the one thing that we do yeah i'm telling you we tried when we first started to do the show we thought oh we'll have all these throw twos right like what was the other one? Oh, the social peak ski oh well wow. i can't do that because of my gimp arm oh yeah i know yeah and i struggle with it too because of my gimp face yeah You're oh not... is that it that's a gimp face what you have a gimp face <laughs> You're mean to yourself. Have a no. gorgeous I was going to say, well, we you throw to is the Red Cross. Yes. What are you doing there? I am. Um, so my bestie, my sister, um, my I love this. Um, <laughs> Rebel's godmother. She is fighting and kicking cancer's ass right now. She has leukemia and it's uh, she's in her second bone marrow transplant, but she's wow. killing it, kicking ass. She's amazing. She's honest to God, the strongest, most wonderful person in the world. And when she was going through it, there was a blood shortage. And, you know, sometimes you have to get blood and, and your platelets and stuff like that. So, it, you know, if you can just go to redcrossblood.org and figure out where you can donate. It doesn't take a long time. You could save a life. You never know. And especially if you have a rare blood. So just a shout out to my girl, Tracy. Her name's Tracy. We love Tracy. her. Cheers, babe. Yeah, she's honest to God, the most amazing person in the world. 
And if I could just have everyone, you know, go check it out. If you can donate, awesome. If you can't, just spread and the it's word. very hard. You, you did word. tell me this, yeah. Tracy. It's hard because she's like an unusual blood type. And yes. so they were out of blood when she needed a blood transplant. Well, she's I mean, not, trans- she has a very, she has a, it, it's a very rare type of cancer. So she, um, she needed a lot of blood and platelets and stuff like that. But during COVID, they were running out. They were having shortages. Right. She was lucky she could get it, but um, it is a struggle. It's a problem for a it lot of people. It is a struggle. So. Well, and I remember, you know, outside of my gym and shout out to Red Cross, because they would do the truck where they would pull up and do like the in parking lots and say, hey, come donate your blood. So I always say, if you see one of those and if you have the time and can go donate blood, because there's a lot of times, you know, people don't even realize that they have a rare blood type or Mm -hmm. that how much help that can help with someone else. Or the fact that, like you said, during the pandemic, that they're running out of these things that they used to get, be able to go and just get these donations for, but because of everything, restrictions and everything was shut down, they were just not for so long. And so they were just going off a back supply of all that stuff that they had. So, And that was the thing during COVID. Thank you. You were told not to go out, not to do anything. And the last thing you want to do is go to a medical place, right? Because that's where all the, you think that's where all the sick people are. So, um, so yeah, if you can just, and just, if you're religious, say a prayer for my girlfriend and, or just positive thoughts or anything like that. She's amazing. You guys will meet her one day. She's a big supporter of, of uh, what Frankie and I do and stuff like that. So she's amazing. That's amazing. So, well, definitely. That's yeah. actually Crazy. why I have this glass. It's well, it's why, like, why, why that glass? I can see your well, future in it. Okay. <laughs> well, because so Tracy and I, when we started to, you know, have a couple of beverages together, we cheers. And we cheers so hard that our glasses shattered. So her husband had to go buy me a stainless steel because we cheers like Vikings. So let's go. I'm not a Tracy, Tracy, do you have big hands? Is that do you have big hands like Mickey and I? I I have the I have the tiniest wrists and these giant man hands. Yeah. What is going Uh on? Yeah, oh, I'm not my no, best. <laughs> I lost you there for a second. Just kidding. I, w- no. I went to go buy it. Uh, I went to go buy um, that the that the I the the pan. Um, what is it? A, a, what is it, Mickey? The cast iron. What is it called? Cast, cast iron, iron pan. Why do I know what yeah. that is? Okay. Wow. Um, it's too heavy for my delicate wrists. Oh. My hands can handle it, but it's too freaking heavy to cook in. What See, do I don't that? have delicate That's wrists right either. Like I have like big. They're like really? meat hooks. Meat hooks. Let me they're see. Like, um, they're well, my wrist for one, and it's the same with my ankles. Um, if I do this, you know, I could block the screen. But the my wrist, it's like there's they're not delicate. They're very meaty. I think it's native, but just like my ankles, oh. you know, look how my ankle goes right into my calf. You know what no. I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I never even looked at your ankles. Now I'm going to look at it next People time. People are looking at your ankles, Mickey. I don't think Liverpool. Well, this is why I don't. In Liverpool, in Liverpool I'm, like, I'm going to be staring at your ankles. Yeah, you wait, and you see my go, oh, man. little baby pancakes down there. I don't know. It just Baby pancakes. You're well, going to get all yeah, these ankles. I'll just say a, a quick thing to wrap that up. Just, just because we appreciate you bringing awareness, Tracy, for that. Prayers to your friend, Tracy. And what we're going to do is make sure that all the links are below so you can donate and make sure that you're all spreading the word. Like Tracy said, donate what you can. But I have to say, like, to to, to shift gears and and give you another compliment, Tracy, we're so thrilled that only are you back in the wrestling circuit, crazy as it is, we're so thrilled that Lisa and I get to do commentary with you for Impact Wrestling, and we get to watch this day, Mickey James kick ass. Yes, absolutely. Y'all are so, and not that I pay you, and not that you're biased (laughs) for any specific reason, but I do appreciate how kind and loving you are to me, and how, you know, spitfire and vengeful you are against all my opponents oh my god talk about tasha tasha you oh tasha. my god Tracy, you don't even know she was running amok it's like everywhere we turned she was cutting some promo and there she to was put mickey out of wrestlecon it was oh was she at wrestlecon yeah. yeah 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 but she, she did donate a dress to our wrestlemania she so you know, she's then, then, then because she wants everyone to like her yeah yeah that's what i said i will say that my gosh, we could talk to you for days, but we will have to wrap it up. And I want to ask you, Tracy, anything else you want to say to the fans as a final farewell? Of course, they're going to see us April 23rd for Impact. Yes, April 23rd. Yes, exclusively on Fight TV. The info's below. 
But Tracy, any final words for our fabulous, gorgeous God TV fans? No, I love you guys. Thank you wait, for doing do that, the show. Do like, Tracy, wait, hold on. I can't. Green My shirt. Arm. Oh, Beautiful. My arm. Um, no, I love you guys. I love, thank you for doing WrestleMania too. You guys are incredible for bringing attention to that. Sorry, and seriously, quickly, just, Tracy, thank you for yes. doing your donation because uh, oh. Tracy and Frankie donated as well. So thank you. Oh, say. thank you. Well, I sold all my stuff. So I just gave cash because I was like, I no, got nothing. so sweet. No, but you guys, thank you for bringing attention. And for the younger generation, I hope you guys watch this show because it, 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 we all have those insecurities. We all have those body issues and body dysmorphia. And like watching you three go to the ring, I'm like, God, man, I'm so jealous. They just have it. Or do you listen to Tori Wilson or Candace or any of the Madison, these girls saying, oh God, we were faking it till we made it, right? Yeah. And it's, it's like, man, I, okay. Like it was okay that I wasn't like, you know, yeah. so, so confident and stuff. And I think that's important for this generation to be better, like to understand yeah. that and be okay with that, you know? So yeah. thank you girls. I tip my hat. I don't have a hat, but I tip my hat to you three ladies. I love you guys so much. Keep doing it and keep doing yeah, what you're I all love doing. You. Love you guys. You keep doing and what I you're doing. We love you, you guys, me and you and so, Frank. So we love you both yeah. so much. So proud. Love you. Love Frank you. I'm a grown ass woman, y'all. Yeah, wants to be on the show. We have verbal contract that Frankie Kazarian is going to be an upcoming oh. uh, guest. Yes, hey, Cass. Not that, buddy. Not that, buddy. Can you please tell them? I was trying to tell them and do the story, and they didn't know what I was, and my nails are no, all ratchet. know the story, but a no. fan, and he just got in. For, Frankie had is the best person at getting heat from a fan. Getting, like, I think he got chased by a knife one, by a fan with a knife. Him and Daniels. Him and Daniels. Yes. And they loved, and when Atlas was with Impact, or was it Ring of Honor? They loved it when the like, fans. It was with Impact. It, it was definitely, because I was on Impact. the house show loop or something, and we rode the, hey, Cass, right there, buddy. Right there, buddy. We right there. rode that for a solid year, I want to say. Oh, more, because it's still going on. But yeah, yeah, Frank, you have to, I can't do it justice. Frankie does the voices. You know Frankie's voices and stuff. But yeah, he has legendary heat with people. Like, Yeah. I think he did. You just have to get him to tell him. I, he wanted at one point fans to jump in the ring and attack him at every time because it gave Atlas security something to do. Okay. Yeah. So like this, their head this would start his. sweating. It would start beating. Their hairline yes. would start beating yeah. down their face. Yeah. <laughs> it was I great. Love the do. Yeah. But I think Frankie Nick, is and, Nick and Frank have a lot in common, actually. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. They want it when they're heels. They want to be hated. They want people right. to spit in their soup. They want people to hate them when they're good. They want to be good. But I think that's a lost art to be honest. It is. Like, yeah. because people when I was a heel, I wanted people to, I, okay. Quick story. I was an independent in like Tupelo, Mississippi, you know, where everyone thinks it's real. And it's, and this was again, 15 years ago. I had like my pigtails in and my boob giant boobs pushed up in a squirrel girl outfit. And I rolled out of the ring and rolled on some, lovely older gentleman and I fell on his lap I was like you pervert how dare you you know I made the whole well then his wife decided to get really pissed off and chase me around the ring stop and I'm laughing so hard but the baby face in the ring won't let me get in the ring and I am getting chased now by a, a woman and she's elderly and she they had to tackle her and give her oxygen and to me that was a highlight of my career OBW, I got choked out by a fan you did not yeah, I, um, the, the, the kids were calling me the, the C word, the bad C word. And I, I, I hate that word, but it's very common in England. But uh, and um, I go, oh, I go, are those your kids? Nice role model, mom. I turn my back, which is the stupidest thing to do. And I'm like going like this. And I'm like, oh, is it one of the boys like doing a storyline yeah, yeah. like like this? And I'm like, what the fuck? Like you're going to get that's like that's when you're doing your job. But it's <laughs> unfortunately it's a lost art. That people, people know don't want to be hated. They nope. don't. They're because it's they're insecure. So they're like they'd rather be like, oh, I want to be a heel and pretend like I'm a bad guy, but I still secretly want them to love yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. Want them to hate True. me. So weird. No, yeah. I wanted to be back. But anyway, um, I'm sorry to get off topic. But you no, girls, that, that's no. cheers to you We're guys for exclusive stories. Yeah, here's the hate in our guts. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> To Tracy Brooks, we love you so much. Love to I you, love you girls. Frankie. It was so great to have you here. We'll love see you, you April love 23rd, you. just a few days away Yay. in Liverpool for Impact Wrestling Rebellion. We love you. Thanks for being here. Here's the hate in our gut, Mickey. Hello, buddy. Mickey, here's the hate in our gut. Here's the hate in our guts. See your guts? All of them. I hate your them. Your guts. All of them. 
right there, buddy. Right there. Right there. Buddy. Let the word go, yo.